Hello everyone, Dak here. Welcome back to the next episode of Star Wars Squadrons. Last time we were introduced to Vanguard Squadron for the first time with the New Republic. And it seems the story takes place right after the Battle of Endor. And the Empire, or the remains of the Empire, are up to something. So we're going to find out what happens next. And it's actually pretty cool. If any of you are fans of the original Expanded Universe out there, it seems that they're doing in this story kind of like how it was in that where the Empire was still trying to fight or the remains of it were still fighting on but they were fighting a losing battle so let's see what happens here definitely excited to see what happens next I thought he was going to say something to me. I don't speak droid. Let's talk to Gunny and Kyo. The Empire won't push into our territory again anytime soon. Thanks to our new pilot. Yeah, and thanks to the rest of us. This isn't a race, all right? We're a team. You're right, Gunny. But still, nice flying out there. Speaking of fancy flying... I was thinking about the Dragon Void run from a few years back. You see that one, Kyo? Oh, sure. I caught the whole thing on the Hollow Net. Yeah, me too. I've watched the entire thing, but for the life of me, I can't recall who won. I think it was one of the Ash Twins? No, wait. Delon Vu. Yeah, that's it. Boy, he was something else back then. In fact, the only pilot I've seen that comes close since is Kyo here. Oh, come on. Dylan Voop's got nine championships under his belt. I've only got five. Well, fun as this is, Commander Javes has someone special waiting for us in the briefing room. Let's get in there and find out what's next. Command personnel. Intelligence reports have been updated. Commander's waiting. All right, let's go talk to the commander. So far, I definitely like the characters. They're very interesting. So where is it now? Antilles. I helped Talus Group chase it away from a medical convoy towards Yavin. It's pinned in the upper atmosphere with no hyperdrive, but too many fighters for Talus Group to handle alone. This might work out for both of us. Come, meet our visitor. Where Gentiles, Rogue Squadron. I hear you're the reason I was able to finally get a calm through. I have a Star Destroyer problem that Vanguard might be able to help me solve. We need a Star Destroyer for Project Starhawk intact. Now we prove what Vanguard's made of. Wedge, if you would. This is awesome. They included Rogue Squadron in this story as well with Wedge Set Antilles. Up, folks. The commander's waiting. Sorry, I'll need to contain my excitement for now as we go through the briefing. As you may have overheard, Talos Group has cornered the Imperial Star Destroyer Victorum, above the planet Yavin. They're in tough, but it's presented a great opportunity for us to jump in and not only disable that Star Destroyer, but to seize control. So first, we need to give ourselves some cover by knocking out the turrets. Naturally, if we can also take out the targeting system, that'll buy us even more time. Next, we need to prepare the Star Destroyer for boarding. You'll need to find a potential breach point in the Victorum's hull. Preferably near the bridge. Once you find a good spot, bombard it until the hull is breached. However, we can expect that the Victorum still has plenty of TIE fighters. They will try to stop us. Once the skies are clear, we can bring in the boarding team. While our troops capture the bridge, Vanguard will defend the exterior from reinforcements. Once the boarding team has seized the bridge, and is in control of the Star Destroyer. We will rendezvous with the Temperance. Okay, I think I accidentally made stealing a Star Destroyer sound simple. Let's hope it is. All right, I guess we're gonna try and disable and steal a Star Destroyer. So I am really interested to see the rest of this story if Rogue Squadron is going to be playing a part alongside the Vanguard Squadron for the New Republic and I'm curious if they're actually 
like re-including some of the stuff from like the Rogue Squadron books or anything like that that happened after the Return of the Jedi in the original expanded universe. But let's talk to Wedge here. Sorry for the speedy introduction. But Talus Group was counting on me to get reinforcements fast. Your commander says you have talent. Enough to steal a Star Destroyer and get away with it. Normally, I'd have Rogue Squadron for this. But General Sindula gave me a temporary assignment to Project Starhawk. Meanwhile, Rogue is handling... Well, that's classified too. General Sindula keeps us busy. Your commander and I have something in common. I once flew for the Empire too. At Sky Strike Academy. Turning to the Rebellion was the smartest move I ever made. I wish more of my friends had done the same. Look, I appreciate the talk, but uh, Talus Group's waiting for us. Out of all of the secondary characters, or maybe I guess you'd call him a tertiary character in Star Wars, he was my favorite. Because he wasn't like a, you know, a hotshot ace or anything like that. He was just there to do the mission in the movies, and he always survived because he was the best. Or he was lucky. A Star Destroyer? Aren't you tossing him in the deep end a little early, Lyndon? Vanguard can handle it. Can't you? Besides, Project Starhawk needs that Star Destroyer for... Well, you know. Wedge made a name for himself at the Battle of Yavin. He knows that system better than the Empire ever will. You'll be fighting on the Rebellion's old turf. So if Wedge has any advice, he'd be smart to listen. You know... A wounded Krakana can still bite. Just watch yourself around that Star Destroyer, huh? Get out there as soon as you can. Knowing me, I'm probably going to die a few times during this. We'll see. Also, quick quiz. Does anybody know the character that is now supposed to be the Y-Wing survivor at the end of the Battle of Yavin. Originally it was a character that you play as in the original X-Wing game but they have since changed that and that character has a new comic now. But if you know the name of that character let me know in the comments. Yeah, we can go to the hangar. I think we talked to everyone here. Oh, okay, we can talk to Grace. Squadron launch is imminent. All support pilots, clear the hangar. Man, it wouldn't be cool if they had a game like this where you could walk around in the hangar too. So, we're headed to Yavin. An exalted company, it seems. And now we know Project Starhawk needs an Imperial Star Destroyer. That's enough firepower to tackle a small fleet, or a means to catch the Empire off guard. But that wouldn't warrant all this secrecy. There must be more to the Commander's plan. We'll just have to trust him. Too bad there isn't an easier way to get what we need. Even a damaged Star Destroyer has deck upon deck of durasteel plating, turrets, shields. Mm. My poor, bigoted father called Star Destroyers the Fists of the Empire. He wasn't wrong. But they can be beaten. If you're good. And lucky. Let's stay optimistic. To Yavin, then. Let's not delay. Alright, probably overly optimistic for me. Hopefully I don't die. It was also pretty common in the Expanded Universe story, or the original one, where either Star Destroyer crews defected right after the battle, or the New Republic started capturing them and then included them in their fleet when they eventually went on to capture or recapture Coruscant. Let's inspect our X-Wing. Can we put upgrades on it yet, I wonder? Or can we just look around it? There's the rear, there's that side. I 
I don't think I can talk to our mechanic to upgrade. The commander wants you in an X-wing for this mission. Got you outfitted with ion missiles. They disable enemy fighters, and they'll disable subsystems on enemy capital ships too. Interesting. Okay. So they've given us a different missile, the ion missile. Still have our seeker warheads as countermeasures. Everything else is the same. So it doesn't seem like we can upgrade anything at this point. I'm wondering if that is going to be a thing later in the missions, but we will see. But let's launch the mission. I'll get it ready. I actually ended up having to re-record this battle here, I apologize, there was some issues with the frame rate, so we're doing it over. recording is that as far as when I was playing there was no frame rate drops but in the recorded footage it looked very very choppy almost unwatchable so that's why I'm re-recording this Roger that, Talos leader. I don't worry about the Imperials. 
We'll keep them busy. You're really gonna steal that Star Destroyer? That's the plan. So we regroup at Talus Leader. Okay, Vanguard, on me. Let's head for the Victorum. You can focus your shields toward the front or back of your ship to maximize protection on one side while leaving the other side exposed. You can also balance your shields to equally protect the front and back of your ship. Knock out its targeting system. Let's do it. Putting power to forward shields. All that damage, and this thing still has teeth. No wonder Talus Group took a beating just chasing it here. I wanted to see the Victorum go up in flames, but stealing it. <laughs> I like that even better. Ugh, stop it! You got a lock on me. I'm in formation. internal systems. Scan for a beach point so we can send in a boarding team. You're up five. Breaching a star destroyer, just like the old days. Look out, Vanguard! We got a gunny story incoming. Mine hasn't heard it. Sure. <laughs> here! We can send the team in here. Imperial fighters incoming. Five, give it a punch, will ya? Locked on. Let's destroy that reach. Point. Taking damage. Right in the trash chute. Now, push those last fighters back. Clear the skies. These Imperials just keep coming. Weapons deal minimal hull damage but are ideal for squad tactics. Use them to disable enemy starfighters, leaving them adrift. Easy targets for your wingmates. Ion weapons are also the perfect tool for stripping enemy shields and disabling the subsystems of flagships. I'll take that one out. Good one. Enemies toast. Yes. Thanks, Five. I owe you one. Let's stop those fighters. they implemented the ability to destroy subsystems of larger ships like the original game. Here. 
reporting team. We have you on our sights. Ready to take on a Star Destroyer? Copy, Captain Antilles. Just get us there and we'll do the rest. You heard him, Vanguard. Guide those U-Wings into position. Stay sharp. What about the Star Destroyer's crew? If our boarding party takes the bridge, they'll slice internal security systems. I feel like we're sitting the ducks here if we just no slowly go the to the rear of that Star Destroyer. Flying close to a capital ship can be dangerous. Uh, right to that group. Uh, shields. Advanced targeting. By default, your targeting system will only cycle through objectives, but you can change that with the targeting wheel. For instance, you can set your targeting to flagship systems to focus on the subsystems of a deadly Star Destroyer or all enemies to target enemies that are not mission critical, such as TIE fighters up ahead. Shields already? I think we did. You got an enemy uh, missile. We're wearing the carrier down. Keep at it. That left it dead. Almost there, Vanguard. Check that carrier down. It's almost gone. Heck yeah. I love this job. We're taking fire, but we're almost to the bridge. There I picked go. up the tail. Phew. Carrier destroyed. Final. Great work. All right, Sure, what's firing missiles at me? I think TIE fighters can equip concussion okay. missiles or something. Regroup with Wedge. Where is Wedge? On me, Vanguard. Let's regroup at the Victorum. The boarding team might need support. We're almost through those blast doors! We've got another Imperial carrier! Make that three carriers! That's a lot. Get ready, everyone! It's gonna be pretty ready. tough. Taking control now! Three ships. Oh yeah, I remember this that part. Star Destroyer's taken down its own carrier. What a sight! Yes! The ship is ours! You actually did it! And Project Starhawk has a Star Destroyer. You can take it from here, Vanguard. I'll escort Talos group to Safe Harbor. Great work. General Sadula will be impressed. 
Okay, with that episode redone there, it looks like I actually did get all the medals this time. When I recorded it the first time, I missed a couple of these, but that is pretty cool. Mission complete. With help from Wedge Antilles, you have captured the Star Destroyer Victorum. Its role in the mysterious Project Starhawk is yet to be revealed, but Lyndon Javes promises answers soon. You know, the people in Star Wars, like the characters in Star Wars, have such awesome names. I'm Cloud Cutter, Skywalker, Scan Sand Skimmer, all kinds of weird names. So I did get that medal. I'm assuming I missed a medal for helping out Frisk. I can't look at it though. Intelligence operative. I wonder maybe if I missed scanning something. Interesting. Okay, everyone, that's going to be it for that episode there. Thank you again very much for watching. I appreciate it. If you like the video and want to comment, definitely go ahead. If you want to follow along with the next videos, go ahead and subscribe. And you all have a great day. Bye now.